everybody, it's Katie, and it is so good to see you again. I've got my handy dandy hot drink here, which means it is time for another video. Today I thought we'd chat about um, my favorite things as well as my baby's favorite things when it comes to eating solids. My daughter is 10 months old now, and we have had her eating solids since six months, so we are four months into it, and I've got a few favorite gear things that I wanted to share with you all today, especially if you are planning um, your first child's registry, something like that. These things you might want to consider adding to your registry because I know when I was doing my registry for our, our daughter, I actually ended up thinking about like the first three months, like what do I need in the newborn phase? And I kind of forgot about older baby needs. And um, you don't want to neglect the things that you're going to need sort of six months, nine months, even a year from now. Um, yeah, so these are things to consider and add to your registry. So the first thing you want to consider when you're starting to think about feeding solids is that high chair. Now there's so many different options for high chairs. The one we got was the one from Ikea. It's called the Antelope, something like that, the Antelope. And the reason why I chose it was two reasons. One cheap and cheerful. It costs like 25 bucks. <laughs> I just couldn't envision spending tons of money on a high chair that really only gets used a couple for a couple years, but I got it because it was cheap and cheerful. And the second reason it was 100% plastic, which meant that I could take it out back and hose it down if I needed to. So super easy to clean, no teeny tiny crevices to have food stuck in forever. Um, no cushy cushions that can get stained easily, that kind of thing. I can just easily wipe it down. I keep a diluted mix of vinegar in a spray bottle, and I just use that plain vinegar on that high chair and it helps sanitize it. Cleans up really nice. So if you're looking for a really great high chair, I recommend that IKEA one. It is really nice. Now on to some of my favorite um, gear items. Uh, one thing I noticed once we switched to solid feeding is that the bibs that you need change. As they get older and they start eating the solids, a bib that's easily washable, um, and not just in the washing machine, but one that you can like rinse off in the sink, becomes critical. Favorite bibs right now for solids feeding are the um, the Tommy Tippy ones. And these, um, I picked up a two pack of these at Target. They're really quite inexpensive. These Tommy Tip Tippy bibs are really nice. They're a really soft squishy plastic. We have um, got a, one of these pouch type bibs as a gift and it was really stiff and gigantic. So this is actually the perfect size for a baby starting on solids. This might not be the best bib in the world for toddlers as they get bigger because just the size maybe is too small, but um, it is an adjustable neck. It's really soft plastic. The um, little pouch at the bottom catches the food that the babies drop, and they do drop a lot of it. Um, and it rolls up really nice so that you can stick it in your diaper bag. The little um, the bib itself fits into the pouch, and this tucks really nicely into your diaper bag. The other thing I love about this is it really cleans up well. I can just take this to the sink after, after we're done eating. I can rinse this off, even use a little bit of dish soap if I need to, and I just kind of lay it on my sink to air dry until it's time to eat again. Or this goes into your top rack of your dishwasher, which I do every night. You know, once we're all done with eating for the night, I stick this in the dishwasher and it runs overnight with all of our other dishes. So I love that. Now, now the next thing, sippy cups. We tried several different kinds of sippy cups, some with this traditional sippy spout and then some with kind of like the softer um, spouts. And we just had a really challenging time with our daughter. Either they leaked or she just couldn't figure it out, whatever the case. So I was out at Bye Bye Baby one day and went to the sippy cup aisle to, you know, find some new ones. And I came across these um, OXO brand um, cups and these are amazing. But we actually transitioned. She started using this at seven months and we just went straight to um, the straw. <laughs> and it took her maybe a couple days to figure out how to drink out of something that had a straw. But, um, now she's like a pro, which is amazing. And this is a kind of straw that's not like the bite down and, and suck type um, mechanism that some of the other sippy cups with straws have. This is just a plain old straw. My absolute favorite thing about this sippy cup in particular is that it has 
ounce measurements on the side so I can actually mix up some formula right in this cup. And to me, that's just amazing. So I love mixing that formula right in here and I'll take this with me to go. Or she'll even drink formula while she's um, having her meals. Sometimes the leftovers from her bottle from earlier, but um, I, I just, I love this. I love this for at home and I love this for being on the go. Speaking of on the go, let's transition to ways to tote solids around with you. Now, favorite things are snack size Ziploc bags. <laughs> These things are great. You can pick up cheapo ones from Target, like the Target brand ones, but the snack size ones hold just a little bit of food in there. It's the perfect container to hold things like Cheerios. But what I love about using Ziploc bags is that you can toss them when you're done. So if you are space, you know, kind of tight on space, you can fill up snacks in this, and then when your snack is done, you toss the bag. You're not toting around an empty container in your diaper bag. You can just toss it and be done with it. What I also use these for is to keep spoons in, um, clean spoons. I put the clean spoons right in the little Ziploc bag, toss this in my diaper bag, and then when we've used the spoon, if we're going out to eat, for example, I can put the dirty spoon just right back in this little Ziploc bag so it doesn't get the rest of my bag dirty. So these are perhaps my favorite little containers. I've got so many different options, but these are by far my favorite because they're so versatile. My other favorite containers, I've actually just recently got these and I picked these up at the dollar store. So every, these next things are just a dollar and they're great. I picked up these little animal um, containers, got little animal lids. They're so cute. I've got a giraffe and a bee and a zebra, but these hold the perfect amount of little Cheerios to take with us to church. Sometimes I fill these up with little snack type things. I take them in my little diaper bag and they're so cute. They're top rack dishwasher safe, even though I think technically they said they weren't, but they wash just fine in the dishwasher, FYI. And then the other container I picked up at the dollar store were these, um, these small lidded containers and they're a snap on lid. So they're really secure, but these would be great um, to carry around more entree type things as opposed to like dry snacks. But these I thought were great. They just a little snap on lid. I picked up a couple of these, but these were a dollar. And then finally to wrap up sort of the on the go favorite feeding tools. And I saw this, a friend brought this to a restaurant once and I was like, oh, what is that? And this is similar to the bib, similar. Um, but this is from Summer Infant, and it is a on-the-go placemat. It is um, plastic, similar um, plastic to those Tommy Tippy bibs, but they means it rinses off really easily. It can go in the dishwasher, but it's got these little suction cups on the back. It can suction cup directly onto the restaurant table and gives your baby a safe, clean surface to practice eating <laughs> and, and feed themselves right on the restaurant table, but it also comes with the little um, catch pouch tray so that if they do drop something, it'll kind of catch it right there. But I love this. It folds up really nice and compact to go in the diaper bag. I'm folding that, folding, 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 folding. Um, it folds up really nice, and I sometimes keep a little hair tie um, just around it to keep it together so it doesn't unroll. But um, it just slips right in the diaper bag. I just keep this in a kitchen cupboard so I grab it if I know we're going out to eat then I can slip it right in the diaper bag and I'll always travel with this. But um, So those are all of my favorite baby feeding, baby solids tools. I hope some of those were helpful for you. If you have any favorites that you want to share, share them down below in the comments. I want to hear them and I'm sure others searching for the best type of baby feeding gear would love to hear them too. Don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up this video if it was helpful for you. Um, and I hope to see you next time. You're going to want to put on your register. Put to sleep. I put to sleep. This video is going to have a lot to cut out.